Hey there, this is Heather with TwoBlooms.com and in this tutorial I wanted to show you how to edit a, an image that's backlit with a lot of sun flare. Um, obviously from this photo you can tell it's very overexposed, very washed out, so if you're having photos like this I wanted to show you how you can kick it up a notch in editing and really make it pop and shine. So first things first, I'm going to come over here to my basic panel and if it's not um, open just go ahead and click the triangle and I'm going to decrease my exposure by a lot because I want this background to be nice and rich so I'm just going to take it down right about there. So my background looks really good we're going to bring some light into his face and we're going to make it pop. So that's the first thing is changing the exposure. Uh, next thing I'm going to do, I really want to make this background even more rich so I'm going to increase the shadows so I'm going to bring my shadows down to the left, um, keep going, that's about good. I don't want to go too crazy. And then I'm going to bring up my whites too, just to give it some more contrast. And you can see how that really makes it pop a little bit more. Okay, so that's pretty good. Now he's looking pretty yellow. I haven't touched white balance yet, but I'm going to do that in a minute. So this is looking pretty good. This is a, a lot better than what we started with. Um, so let's move on. So I use presets a lot in my workflow, and I'm going to be using some from different collections. Uh, first, one of my go-to presets is Timeless Film from the Classic Film Collection. And that made it really yellow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring down my white balance. Let's see. That's probably pretty good for now. That just really made it a lot less yellow. And I really want to add some light back into his face. So I'm going to add a radial filter, but I'm going to just, to save time, I'm going to come down to my Summer Craze collection and I have a preset for that called Spotlight. And I could even come in and update that if I wanted to. I just went over here, um, click the radial filter. If you're using Lightroom 5 and up, you have this feature. If you don't have Lightroom 5 or up, then you're not going to have this. Okay, so I clicked the radial filter, and I'm going to just click on it, and I might even bring it up just a tad. That might be too much. Here we go. Perfect. All right, so I still want some contrast around here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back up to my classic film collection because I have these film effects. I'm going to just add a light vignette. So that just adds a lot more contrast. So I'm going to come down here and polish it up by sharpening. Usually do my sharpening between 80 and 100, but for this one, let's just do like that's good. Do a little bit of masking. And that is pretty good. I might come back in here and do some little brushing uh, with his face. Let's just go ahead and do that now. I'm going to choose the dodge brush. Everybody comes with this brush. And I'm just going to go over his face to make his face pop a little bit more. And maybe even his shirt. I don't want to go too nuts. But there we go. Okay. And I could do some more... Um, nitpicking on this, but just to give you a general idea of how you can really bring out um, a sun flare image if you've overexposed it or whatnot, you can come back in here, especially if you shoot in RAW, uh, you can come back here and make it look really great. So here's the before and after. The before was really washed out, really just blah, and then we came back in here, added some shadows, added some depth, and kept that nice exposure in his face so he really shines so I hope you guys found this tutorial useful and that you'll be able to use it for your photos um, make sure you check out my website for all of your Lightroom preset needs um, if you have any questions feel free to post them below and just 
go ahead and ask. And um, thanks for tuning in. And I hope to see you guys again really soon. Thanks, guys. Bye.